Hello, dear colleagues. Nice to see you here today. And uh, it's our last but one webinar in the series of webinars devoted to the meridians. Today we are going to discuss gold bladder channel. And uh, this webinar, as all previous ones, are based on the offerings of Sergei Kasintsev, who is one of the authors of the Vedapulse software and one of the experts practicing traditional Chinese medicine. Let's start our webinar. As you know, we are going to walk according to the plan you can see on your screens now. We'll discuss main characteristics of gallbladder channel, its projection area, functional use, and also we'll study all main points of this channel. In the end, we are going to have some practice passing this channel. So, gallbladder channel. It sounds as Zhu Shao Yan Dan Zin in Chinese. Zhu means that this channel belongs to our leg. It is connected to our legs. Shao Yan, it is the middle energy axis of Yan. Dan, it is gallbladder itself. And Zin means a channel meridional system. This channel is one of the longest. There are 44 biological active points. And it's interesting that these points are located irregularly on our body. It means the first 20 points belong to our head and others, they are located on our body in such an even way. The end of the channel lays at uh, the external side of the fourth toy of our feet. And uh, such an abundant uh, points in the head area says uh, uh, can say us about connection to the head's functioning. Um, because you can see 20 biological active points. It means this channel is connected to our brain circulation and they can influence our brain circulation through biological active points of this channel. We can also influence uh, willpower of a person. We can strengthen it and even or we can help a patient to become more decisive work in the biological active points of this channel. Most of the points lay in the pillory part of our head. You can search for them, you can examine your head, and when you are touching your head you should uh, try to move your scalp slightly, or move the skin of the head slightly. Uh, it should be easy to do uh, in all zones of the head. Otherwise, if there are some problems with moving your skin on the head, then it says us about some uh, local muscular spasm. And uh, it means blockage of energy circulation on energy level. Uh, and sure, it is about some disorders of blood circulation if we are talking about physiological level. So just move your scalp slightly from one side to another, like if you are doing some slight massage. You can pull your hair, for example, and all these actions will help you to uh, reveal physiological and energy blockage. It will stimulate an inflow of blood to the head. So, to make your mind uh, more clear. Uh, 
Okay, we are moving on. As we mentioned, this energy system belongs to Shaoyan energy level and it means one of Yan components of the system, the middle one. And as you probably remember, in this system of six harmonies that you see now on your slide, all meridians work in pairs and they protect our body from external negative impact. So if negative impact went through the first level of protection and went through the channels of a small intestine and um, urinary bladder, then it means uh, that Taiyan axis failed in her function of protection. And the next are the gallbladder channel and triple heater channel. So Shaoyan axis. These two guardians uh, should stop this negative external influence and uh, on a physiological level you can see it in muscular spasm and uh, in impairment uh, of local blood circulation. It means that pathogenic energies uh, are active in this uh, level and uh, Shaoyan axis is trying to cope with it. Also you can watch uh, a hormonal level and a neurotransmitters condition because uh, these are signs for which uh, triple heater channel is responsible for. And to fix this problem, our body should relax and everything should uh, be returned as it used to be. But there is one special thing about a human living being. Normally our head helps us, but sometimes it gets in our way. Um, because there is such a phenomena as uh, after-effect reaction. For example, all other animals that felt stress and uh, was, for example, were in some extreme situation connected to survival, they relax easily just uh, after the hazard left. So no danger, no reactions. But uh, talking about humans, it is a bit differently because uh, people have so-called uh, rudimentary tension in even after the situation and uh, to reveal it we should work with biological active points of a gold bladder channel and triple heater channel. When we say gold bladder most of Europeans uh, will imagine just a bile pocket but in Chinese culture there is another attitude towards it and Chinese people pay a lot of attention to this energy system. Let's talk about it in detail. The third special moment uh, is uh, about the system of elements. Gallbladder system belongs to wood element. It is yang component of wood element. Uh, if you remember this Usin system, it is exactly yang part of wood which starts all manifestations of material world in the universe and in our body as a result. And all these manifestations and materialization of this impulse depend on wood element. It means they depend on the gallbladder. 
any blockages, uh, any disorders of energy level in the whole channel meridional system, all these works together with the gallbladder functioning. And modern scientists who are involved in holistic uh, medicine, they say that hmm, if we take any disorder, then we can say that almost 90% of any disorders, disorders of any origin, they are connected to imbalance of gallbladder. So, even if it, this disorder is not connected to the digestion itself directly, anyway, gallbladder will be involved and uh, it will suffer from imbalance in 90% of cases. And sure, if we are talking about problems uh, of bile secretion, it will be exactly about gallbladder and any intestinal disorders. And as a result, our desire to eat or our desire to, to, to be active, to move, uh, our quickness, coordination, flexibility, uh, lengthiness, stretching, that's all connected to the proper gallbladder channel functioning. There is a special practice which is called uh, abdominal correction. It's quite common in Russian uh, and uh, when a specialist starts abdominal correction, uh, then he is starting exactly uh, with a uh, gallbladder. Because if the bile secretion is in a norm and uh, if there is no problem with uh, bile expelling, then it means there are constant impulses uh, to all, mm, to many uh, processes in our body. Too many metabolic processes. But if uh, it's not normal and if there are any disorders connected to it, then all our um, metabolic processes, all our metabolic cycles, uh, they will suffer, they will become irregular soon and it is right as for a daily cycle, so for our year cycle. And it is recommended to start your diagnosis every time paying attention to the gallbladder channel. Because if there is an imbalance at the level of the system, then it's necessary to work with it and you should balance this system. And a great effect will come after it. Such diseases uh, and disorders as, for example, an, a bad outflow of blood from the head are quite common. And uh, sometimes the, it, it can be called uh, phlebostasis, for example. It is connected, first of all, to the instability of the cervical spine. And uh, also it can be influenced by biological active points of the gallbladder channel. Uh, among common recommendations uh, in such situations are visiting swimming pool. Uh, swimming is very good in these situations. And uh, even not just swimming but diving or swimming on your back. Um, specialists recommend to spend at least 30% of your total time of swimming uh, on your being on your back or diving uh, or even half of time 
especially it's important uh, to do in the end of your swimming session um, because it uh, helps us to avoid some overstretching of the neck. And also talking about gallbladder, you can work with a biological active point number 20. It uh, is located in the similar area uh, of the neck, so it uh, will be really helpful to stop these problems with uh, blood outflow. This point is also good when you are working with um, some immune problems. It helps to strengthen immune system. Uh, unfortunately, it's not rare situation then a patient uh, has uh, no gallbladder after some surgery. But uh, it's uh, one more reason for us to say again that physiological level and the energy level, they are different. And sure, energy structure cannot be cut out. It will restore itself and sometimes um, a patient needs one month, sometimes it can be two, three months, up to half a year. But uh, during this time, energy system will restore. And you can judge about its condition by examining scars after surgery. Uh, even minimal surgery, um, almost with a low level of invasion, uh, leaves a scar, a stitch. And uh, as Sergei Kasinsev says, such scars, such stitches, uh, they cross from three to five energy channels. In a norm, a stitch uh, should not be uh, soldered together with underlying tissues in a month after surgery. As you heard, uh, we were discussing our scalp, but we should move it slightly and our skin should be movable. So the same is about scars. And to get this uh, normal condition of scar, it is recommended uh, to go through physiotherapeutic uh, influence uh, almost from the first uh, days after surgery. Um, because it uh, helps to get uh, cicatrization. So to avoid uh, unnecessary adhesive processes, it is recommended to use different methods of uh, physiotherapy as uh, the most simple one is um, magnetotherapy and uh, it can be used even on the other day after surgery. Also, there can be methods connected to ultrasound. All these methods uh, help uh, to stop uh, development of this connective tissue that we don't need in this zone. And even uh, if uh, a, your patient uh, had surgery some time ago and his stitch nowadays is connected to these underlying tissues, then it's necessary to restore this flexibility, this ability to move it. There are a lot of different devices, devices of phototherapy, for example, Mm, a lot of devices can help you to influence uh, local zones to develop this good flexibility.
if we are talking about energy level, and for example, you are watching Meridian tab in the Adapal software, and you see that uh, there is a lack of energy in this system, then it means a common total energy level of the body is decreased. And uh, sure, it can be a reason of a surgery, as we discussed just now, or it can be some other symptoms, uh, as for example, um, inflection of the gallbladder. Among recommendations in such cases will be a proper day regime, physical exercises, and also bile expelling medications. Such patients are recommended to watch their stool because normal stool should be daily and if uh, it's a more complicated case uh, when there is a constriction of a connective tissue, uh, it is a bit more complicated than just a simple inflection of a gallbladder. Then such patients should use phytotherapy regularly, they should use uh, physiotherapy, and uh, it should be periodical treatment uh, at least um, four times a year. Sure, you can see on your screen ties of meridians, how we work in pairs, and also you can see our our star of ties. And our channel is connected to small intestine and to stomach. And uh, if we are talking about uh, doshas component, then it will be PETA for the gallbladder channel. And it is connected not only to liver, as uh, traditional Chinese system says, but in Ayurvedic tradition, it is also connected to the heart and to the small intestine channels. We are going on and coming to main characteristics of the channel. In China, it is called a general who supports inner purity. This system can help to overcome energy blockage in any part of the channel meridian system. Not only if you've got a blockage along the gallbladder channel itself, but it works with all other 11 meridians. And working with biological active points of the gallbladder channel, you can make a diagnosis and uh, after it you can eliminate blockage in any meridian. If you are working with particular meridian, but for some, ta for some reason you just cannot cope with the blockage, then you can add points of the gallbladder to your prescription. Uh, in particular, uh, an algetic point of the gallbladder channel influences all the body. This channel is responsible for the sea lowering. It's one of the system which has such an effect for its energy. Uh, as for example, urinary bladder channel, it also can help to lower C. Also, gallbladder channel is responsible for biliary excretion and for biliary producing. It is responsible for muscles and extremities. 
and you can see it gives impulse to start working of all systems in our body digestive cardiovascular and so on, and so on. Uh, because this system is connected to our biorhythms the gallbladder channel initiates our biorhythms it controls uh, cerebral circulation our wheel and subcortical structures because you remember we were talking about points in the head area so any influence on these biological active points massage or other influences they are very good in alcohol or drug addiction in different manias in depressions in all conditions uh, then our will is not uh, in the optimal condition gallbladder channel is responsible for making decisions and for plans implementation uh, the best way to influence this function is to work with uh, biological active points of five elements this channel opens through the eyes some of biological active points uh, of this channel are located uh, just near the eye its mirror are nails and uh, tendons uh, flexibility sour taste is connected to this channel and if we are talking about emotions it will be anger but let's say a few words about uh, flexibility of our tendons um, the more the better your tendons stretched hmm, the more flexible they are the better gallbladder channel functions and it is connected uh, directly to the lifetime of people uh, gerontology a science about aging was very popular in USSR and we can say that it was the best scholar group around the world of a time and uh, the system that was developed uh, in Kiev uh, is used even now this system was done to estimate um, and to predict uh, age of life so talking about biological aging uh, this uh, scientific school was the best and gallbladder channel influences uh, a lot our biological aging there is one simple test uh, to do it you should just sit on the floor with your legs straight and uh, you should start uh, leaning forward to the floor uh, in the way how just you are like moving uh, with your hands uh, trying to touch your heels and you should watch your knees at this time they shouldn't be bent so if you are a success in touching your heels uh, this way then it means uh, your body mm, feels good and uh, your true biological age corresponds to the date of your birth and to the data from your 
ID. But if you cannot touch it, then it means you've got problems with biological aging. You are aging fast. So such an easy test, easy to do it at home, easy to, to find out. Uh, whether your biological aging is a norm. Mental manifestation, as you can see, connected uh, to the will functions, to the variability. Talking about main points of the channel, we should mention biological key points of five elements. And first of all, it will be mm, power points. And the final point, which is located at our toys, is point SHU1. It belongs to metal element. Shoe point number two will be tonic point for this channel. It is connected to water element. And uh, the next point, uh, shoe number three, it's uh, an interesting point because it's uh, it's a little bit out of the common rule for all other 12 meridians um, because uh, when we are talking about other meridians first three points uh, they come one by one starting from uh, the end of toys in a direct or in a inverted sequence but here we can see that one point um, is missed it's like uh, not common thing, but we should remember it. So, due to this common rule, shoe point number three should be a point number 42 of the gallbladder channel, but here it is point number 41. So, we should just remember it. Biological active point uh, number 38, it's sedative point for this channel. It belongs to fire element. Point number 34 belongs to the earth element. Also, you can see on your screen interspace point, um, more and shoe points. And now we are going to talk about all these points in detail. We'll start from our toys and we'll raise upper and upper. Final point of this channel, point number 44, is called Zhu Zhao Yin and uh, can be translated as um, touching in on the leg, touching in on the foot. It is point of a metal element. We should mention that all biological active points of uh, lower extremities are connected to the function of uh, energy lowering. And this point is not an exception. It is connected to the common energy level of the channel meridional system. This point can uh, decrease, uh, can send uh, down young energy of liver. It can be, it can be necessary in uh, hypertension. Uh, in headache uh, connected to yang uh, energy. Such headaches uh, usually have a spread
spreading feeling and uh, if uh, one feels knocking in the head or, or feels pulsation in the head then it means this pain is of young category. So this point number 44 can cool the heat, calm the mind and also it has a strong influence in all psychosomatic uh, situations. The next point is point number 43. You can see on now a picture. It is called Sassy in Chinese uh, or uh, Narrow Valley in English. It stands uh, in the interspace between our toys. And when walking to this point, we should uh, press it uh, in the direction of the fourth toy. This point suppresses uh, heat and wet syndromes and also its distant point. It means that it can be used in different auricular disorders. For example, in uh, adontitis or some similar disorders of our ears, if there is a feeling such as singing and you can hear it seen in the ears. Also use this point, it can be helpful. It's an algetic point uh, for zones around our jaws. Next point is point uh, 41 and it lays uh, in the space between the fourth and the fifth toys. If you look at the screen then it stands in the narrowest, in the most narrow place where bones uh, meet each other. It is called Zulinzi and means uh, energy decrease on the foot. Also, it has another name as many other points. It's a common tradition. Uh, normally, now we are using one nomenclature with a particular name for each point, but Traditionally, there were a lot of different names for all different points. So, additional name of this point is Dropping Tears. And it's interesting because this point uh, is used also in watering and in uh, any psychosomatic situations uh, connected to tearing. This is point which we call element in the element point. It belongs to the wood element and it means that uh, it reflects the main idea of this meridian. Uh, it can initiate all uh, processes in the body connected to rhythms, to the biorhythms. It can be hour rhythms, uh, daily rhythms, or moon rhythms. If there is any disorder of these rhythms, uh, we should normalize it. And uh, to normalize function of any organ or any system, you can use this point as a key point to initiate it. Mm, because it is a key point for so-called uh, belting vessel, uh, sometimes it is called daimai in Chinese tradition. Also this point can be used in spasm, in disorders uh, 
of the diaphragm area. It influences uh, liver, spleen, pancreas, and it is a specific point in painful syndrome of uh, our legs, of lower extremities. The next point is point number 40. It is called Tsetsui. can be translated as market at the hill. And hill, in this point, it will be uh, an external ankle. So, you can see on the small picture in a circle. This external ankle, you should find it and you should slide uh, in a diagonal way from it and then you will find a small fossa there uh, where will be point number 40 in this deepening. This is your end point so the gallbladder system it normalizes energy flow of liver it cools heat in gallbladder this is a specific point in renal colic and also it uh, has a, a good antispasmodic effect. It can be used in any spasm. The next point is point number 38, Yan Fu or Probe of yarn. It comes liver yarn, cools heat, and in spite of the fact that it belongs to the fire element, it will be sedative point for this channel. Some people suppose that if po if a point belongs to the element, then it should add this element. It should increase this element. And uh, mostly they are right, but in spot uh, there are exceptions. And sometimes points connected to a particular element, they can harmonize this element. They can restore it. So, like in this particular case, it is a dative point for the channel. Also, it will be a specific point in uh, disorders uh, of um, blood circulation in uh, the area of pelvis. It can be used in uh, hemorrhoids, in gynecological diseases, disorders. And to find this point, uh, we should look at the direction uh, we should look at the distance between external ankle and uh, a gap uh, between joints. Then we should find outstanding bone. All this distance is equal to 16 tsun. You can see the scale on the screen. So, point number 38 uh, stands uh, 4 tsun over the ankle. To find it, uh, you can just take all this distance and divide it 50-50, then take one half and divide it uh, in two again. So you will find this point um, at the outer border of the bone. Uh, we are talking about split bone. Sometimes it's not very easy to find this point uh, in men because they've got uh, a lot of muscles 
uh, in this zone, then in such cases you should find uh, first of all uh, back border of the bone and then uh, you should find uh, the transition there uh, the split bone finishes. Next point is point number 37, Min or bright light. It is low point of the system and it stands one soon above the previous point number 38. Or in other words, uh, it stands five soon above the external ankle. But in practice, it's easier to find it um, through the point number 38. You just find this point and then just stand one soon from it. This point is interesting. It has a specific effect of enlightening. It can bring enlightening uh, to your eyes, especially in intensive influence. When you are walking this, this, this point in an intensive way, then um, the brightness of outward things increase. So, on physiological level, this point influences blood circulation in our eye. Also, it is connected and it influences uh, uh, blood circulation in lower limbs. Next point is point number 36. Why do external heel? It's interspace point and it has an analgetic effect for the channel. It clears all the channels all channel meridian systems. It uh, helps in cases then there is blockage of energy. To find it uh, you should uh, raise at 7 tune over the external ankle. Or in other words uh, you can divide this distance of 16 tsui that we mentioned uh, in two and uh, just move a little bit down from this half of a distance. And as all uh, the previous points, it uh, lays at the border of a split bone, it influences uh, all conditions connected to mobility of lower limbs. It can be used in atrophy of muscles uh, in legs. And no matter if it's situations uh, due to injuries or if they are system diseases, as for example result of blood stroke, uh, one can use this point to uh, review these situations. Point number 34, Yan Tsuan, is called uh, Yan Wellspring at the hill. It belongs to the earth element and it is one of the very powerful biological points. Because it belongs to the so-called eight concentration points, points of eight concentrations. This point accumulates the energy which is connected to uh, inherited Yuan energy. And point number 34 accumulates this energy. It is connected to tendons. Its specific point which influences um, flexibility of tendons and it can be useful uh, when we need to develop this flexibility and uh, stretching of tendons. 
it provides smooth even flow of uh, energy in liver and gallbladder channels expels wet and heat syndromes and also it is often combined with a point number eight on the spleen channel when we are treating disorders of muscles so that is a very popular pair of biological active points for any muscle disorder. But was everything about biological active points of uh, five elements? And now it's time for more and shoe points. More point is point number 24 at the gallbladder channel. It lays uh, at the mid-clavicular line in the seventh intercostal space. So it will be not uh, the age uh, of a rib. So not the la not, not, not the, the most age of a rib. It will stay a bit upper. Uh, we can say that it is uh, the first intercostal space along the midclavicular line. This point uh, is painful, and this it is painful very often. These points in pair, the right and the left one, uh, they are called. Uh, sun and moon or shadow and moon um, because they harmonize in and yang energies they regulate our daily rhythms and if there are any disorders such as dyskinesia or other disorders of gallbladder this point uh, will be painful but at the same time mm, it is very active point and earlier they said that active points are very sensitive and we need to define painful feelings from sensitive if uh, it is a painful feeling then you will feel spasm and uh, you it will be not comfortable for you then watch when working the, this point but at the same time, if you are walking to this point, but you have no reaction, just no reaction at all, you are pressing it or you are walking with it in another way, in an intensive way, but you've got no reaction, it says us about uh, uh, some expressed congestion. And it's it's going to be this way as the gallbladder over full and uh, it's not functioning in a proper way there are problems with um, bile excretion so uh, this point uh, is used as a local point to influence uh, a middle heater and to influence all organs of middle heater it is connected to digestion and when we need uh, bile expelling we also work through these biological active points so we can say that all our inner organs they are connected um, to this point especially especially inner organs responsible for digestion if we need to initiate their functioning we should work with this biological active point point number 24 and sure we should mention its paired point shoe point it will be point number 19 at the urinary bladder channel it is called dan shoe it stands uh, at the first line of urinary bladder 
channel so it is paravertible and you will find it between the 10th and the 11th uh, transverse processes of uh, cervical vertebrae. In other words, you should find uh, the 12th rib and the first interspace above it uh, will show you point number 20. It will be the place, uh, the location of the point number 20. Then you go up and the next interspace will be our point, point number 19. Talking about ties of a gallbladder channel, as we said, it belongs to the wood element and uh, according to the Indian rule, it is connected to the liver by means of low and yuan points and the energy flows from the low point uh, number 37 uh, to the F3 point and then from low point of the liver channel F number 5 to the point number 40 of the gold blood. In Ayurvedic terms, it is connected to Pitta Dosha. Also, it is connected to liver and uh, to other systems, to the heart and small intestine. If you see that uh, all these systems still imbalance simultaneously, for example, you can see it on the meridian step in the available software, then this person has uh, psycho-emotional problems or allergic disorders. Uh, due to the rule husband and wife, gallbladder channel manages uh, the stomach channel and it means that uh, excessive energy from the gallbladder channel can be reassent to the stomach channel from the point 37 of the gallbladder to the point 42 of the stomach channel. And also it means that uh, in a norm gallbladder channel should have uh, a little bit more energy than the stomach channel. It will be a normal situation. Now you can see the location of the whole channel. It's very long. It starts from the external border of our eye, from the external corner of our eye, then it makes loops in the area of the head and uh, goes along the shoulder griddle, along the side and uh, anterior side surface and then in the area of the more point it uh, has inner curves. Inner curves of the channel uh, is connected to the gallbladder as an organ and also it is connected to the liver because you remember liver and gallbladder they work together in pair as in yang components and then this channel goes down and uh, it has some branches in the area of a hip joint. Gallbladder channel influences uh, joints very much and first of all it's true for the hip joint. 
Uh, there are branches in this area to the back middle meridian and gallbladder channel meets urinary bladder channel in this zone. Urinary bladder channel is the previous channel according to the Usin system because you remember water component stands before wood component. Then our channel continues um, going and it goes along the external surface of the thigh, of the thigh and it goes along the shin and uh, it finishes at the fourth toy of the foot. Uh, so any changes in this area where the channel goes, any changes connected to the um, hip joint, uh, to the knee joint or ankle joint. All these changes say about problems, the function of the gallbladder channel, as well as uh, some um, disorders of mobility of a fourth toy it also will be a sign for you to make a diagnosis of gallbladder channel. Also pay attention to the condition of uh, uh, sacrococcygeal joint and to sacroiliac joint. They are on the screen, on the first picture on the left side among all these three. So you can see this uh, zone. It is also connected to the gallbladder channel. Talking about projection zones, they should say that they are direct projections and all the area near the liver or will be a projection zone for this channel. Also area of solar plexus and area of shoulder girdle. Uh, there is very important zone of the, the clavicle and uh, between sternocleidomastoid muscles ends. It is very sensitive to any changes in bile excretion. Uh, as on the right side, so on the left side of the body. Also, don't forget about projection area uh, near the trapezoid muscle. It is also one of the projection zones of the gallbladder channel. Uh, watching face, first of all, pay attention to the temporal area. Uh, this is the first zone on the face which are connected uh, to the gallbladder channel. Also, don't forget uh, to look at the color of mucous membranes. Uh, so, you can watch the color of eye and uh, also you can watch the color of mouth. Ask your patient to open the mouth and just watch what is the color. If there is any signs of slight uh, yellow color, such a yellowish shade, then it says us about uh, disorders of the gallbladder channel. It's a common thing in medicine then, especially it asks a patient just to watch up and at this time pull 
the lower eyelid down a little bit just to see the color um, under the eyelid. If there is uh, a serious congestion, then you will see also uh, a yellow uh, a yellow fur on the tongue of your patient. Or even under the tongue, if you ask uh, a patient to raise the tongue up. By the way, it's a common thing for pita doshas uh, to have a yellow color of teeth. A yellowish shade of teeth. It says us about some uh, pita prakriti. So like if a person gets pita when he is born. And if we are talking about temporal area, uh, we should mention that here can be not a yellow shade, not yellow color, but um, it can be something like a dirty green. It will be like a color of um, a bile in congestion. So pay attention also to it. And we are starting now a traditional practice. Practical launch of a small circle of energy circulation. Uh, to do it, we activate the back middle meridian from the key point number three on the small intestine channel. Um, by the way, this point number three of the small intestine channel is very useful uh, when treating pimples or acne um, on the face. But uh, now we activate it to start energy circle. After the goal through all this uh, circle, we continue to activate anterior middle meridian by means of point number seven on the one channel. And uh, we are clapping this uh, circle as well as previous. But here we go from the pubic area. We go up along the midline of the body to the mouth area and uh, to finish it we touch, uh, we raise our tongue up and we touch uh, the upper uh, jaw in front of our teeth with the tongue. After this energy circle was activated, uh, we can start walk exactly with the gallbladder channel. And we start walking with it uh, from the corner of the eye. If you'd like, you can repeat all these uh, loops and waves in the head area, but also it will be not a mistake if you will do uh, it simple. So you can just uh, make clapping along the scalp. Uh, near the external eye corner and then you can raise up with this clapping and you should do uh, at least uh, three lines this way, three lines of clapping on your head. And you should uh, finish uh, with tracing your scalp.
uh, it's also you can find a mastoid process uh, a small outstanding heel uh, behind your ear uh, when you find it you can press it slightly press it uh, a few times it will stimulate uh, liquors moving in the brain and it will help uh, to normalize blood outflow from the head Then you can uh, make clapping at your nape. Checkpoint number 20. Because it is the zone uh, exactly there uh, the occipital nerve uh, goes. And th this zone, I remind you, is very useful in hypertension and in cord diseases also. It's very good for our immunity and it can normalize the blood outflow. But then you continue to uh, make clapping of the gallbladder channel. You should go along the upper border of the trapezoid muscle then you go down along the side surface of your body, side surface of your abdomen, and uh, in the area of buttocks you make clapping of buttocks, then you are clapping along the external surface of the hip. Uh, by the way, in China they say that um, it is possible to make uh, clapping here even not with a pa palm but with your fist so, because uh, here are a lot of muscles and uh, muscles in this zone often feel tension, they are tensed uh, and the channel lays very deep so you can stop here for some time and make uh, four or five uh, beats with your fist at one zone, at one place to, to get this deep channel. Then you continue to go down to the foot and to the fourth toy. Uh, previously we said that it's quite good to work with channels in the time of their maximum activity but uh, in the time of the gallbladder channels maximum activity you should sleep um, because it's an uh, evening time, very evening time. So it's not recommended to work with uh, biological active points of this channel at time of its maximum activity because it will increase energy increase energy not only in the gallbladder channel but in the whole channel meridian system so also some bile excretion is possible and it can take place in 30 minutes or in an hour after your practice and due to it uh, you can just feel necessity to go to the toilet so all these things can be bad for you uh, when you need to sleep and to have a rest uh, to restore energy as it should be. Uh, what to do in this case? Uh, then it is recommended to work with biological active points of the gallbladder channel in the morning time or in the time of the heart channel maximum activity. So. In the morning then you wake up, get up, you can work with it to initiate and to your daily rhythm. 
time of the gold bladder channels activity is December. Uh, so it means biological active points of this channel will be more active uh, starting from the 8th of December up to the 7th of January. That was a long and interesting gallbladder channel. We are ready to answer your questions. Thank you for your attention and stay with us. Please send your questions to the email you can see on your screen and send your reviews using the link that you can see on the chat. Please, your feedback is very important for us, so anything you'd like to say, we'll appreciate it. Thank you and see you on Thursday. Bye.